Hey, what happens when your investment company declares a loss? What happens to your money? Is your money safe? I know that is the number one question that comes to your head. Immediately you hear something like company X, Y, and Z has declared a loss in the financial year that has just ended. And in this video, I'm going to break that down and help you understand if your money is safe or not? Should you be worried? Should you be concerned? That's going to be our topic for the day in Maneuversations. And welcome so much. I appreciate your time joining me today in this video. And please press that subscribe button. 80% of you have not subscribed. And you see, when the channel grows, the content keeps getting better. So I need your support. And let me know in the comment section any other topic that you'd like to hear us talk about. So let's get straight to our topic of the day. We we are in that season when companies are declaring their financial results for the year that ended. And this is a requirement to become clear on whether you are making profits or not, as long as you're dealing with the public in one way or the other. And particularly on the investment companies, those that are responsible for brokerage, for Forex, for money market funds, the unit trust, insurance companies. And I'm going to limit my conversation to that particular side of the story where we have put our money in and expecting to get a return on investment. So how does the financial results of a company get to affect your money directly? Because again, I understand you're not being selfish. It is, it is what is in it for you. That really matters. Yeah, you're not being selfish. It is okay to want to know what is in it for you. You see, at the end of the day, whether a big company makes profit or loss or a small company makes profit or loss, it doesn't really matter. It's okay. You'll feel sad. You'll be like, ah, I'm so sorry for them. But when you are involved and your money is in it, eh, eh, it touches your nerve and you want to understand. So what happens to my money? Do I get my money out and run? So I want to briefly help us understand this concept because I've actually gone through a similar situation, I think five or six years ago, the first time that I saw on the newspaper that the company that had put my money in had declared a loss. Where? The first thing that you ask, I was on their client service, I think, among the first people who made the call. Immediately I saw that, I was like... Hey, uh, uh, are we safe? Is our money okay? Should we get worried? Is it that point when I need to withdraw my money? Or some instinct for some people actually sends you straight to the withdraw button, yeah? But then I want to explain two types of losses. And by the end of this video, you will completely understand what needs to get you worried and if you need to be in fear at this particular point when you receive that kind of news. So there are two types of losses and I want to break them down, not using the scientific words, but simply by saying there's one type of loss that's called the fund value loss. And then there is a second type of loss that we can refer to as the company loss. Remember, we're talking about two parties here. One is the investor who now falls in the category of the fund value loss. And then there is the company loss. In this case, we mean where you've put your money in, whether it is a money market fund, a forex account, whether it is a shares account. When that company makes a loss, then that is what I'm referring to in this context as company loss. And I'm going to look at these two to help you understand the difference. For one person, it's an investment geared at making a return on investment. And for the other part, it's a business quite literally. And these people get into business knowing the risk that is involved. But first, let's talk about the fund value loss. And for us to understand this a little bit better and with clarity, I would like to use an example of the equities or the shares so that it makes sense and the forex perhaps. There's a high risk involved when you get into this kind of investment. Because the value of the shares or the company shares can actually go up or down. So assuming you invested in company X and that value was at 100 at that particular point, and then the share price drops down to like say 50 per share, then that automatically means that you made a loss of negative 50. 
And if you had a thousand shares, then you've made a loss of negative 50 times a thousand. So you have technically lost 50,000 of the value that you had invested. And so by the end of the year, when the company would declare and say that our invested funds made a 50% loss, then you need to be worried because it automatically means that if I invested 1 million, then the value of my funds is at 500,000. This involves you. Although many times it gets argued that this is a paper loss, it's not really affecting you, that you can take more time and the fund value will still get back up again. But that is not the topic of the day today. But I wanted you to understand that when it involves the fund that you had, or the fund that you invested in, then that loss directly affects the money that you deposited into that account. And when they also declare a profit, it involves you as well because that particular fund, if the profits were 50%, then it means if I invested 1 million, then my money has grown to 1.5 million, then it automatically affects me directly. So it can affect you in the positive or it can affect you in the negative. But then I want us to look at the second type of loss, which is the most important loss as at now that we need to get worried about, especially my people on the money market funds. These are people who've invested in a low risk environment, which allows you to preserve your capital. So I want to explain how this affects you. When it comes to company loss, what it simply means is that their revenue was less than the expenses that they incurred in that financial year. This includes operational costs, expenses involved in running the systems, everything that they've put in place to ensure that you get a good experience was more than the revenue that they made. Companies are in business to make money, to make a profit. The shareholders of that company, the people that own that company have come together with the expectation of, I'm putting my money in as capital, which we expect to make a profit. But you see, when they're coming into the business, the main source of revenue is the management fee. So whether it is at 1%, 2%, 3%, if the expense are more than the revenue that they got, then it will automatically result in a loss. But then again, another thing that you need to also remember is that when people get into business, whatever kind of business it is, they are expecting to take some time before they break even. This applies to every type of business. Maybe perhaps there's one business or two out there that get started today and they start making profit from the second day. But for some, it will take some time, especially when you're growing from the ground up. So part of the things that you would do is to invest in a good system, invest in good service, invest in giving the best, trying to offer what you can so that you grow your business to the level that it breaks even. So by the time you're coming on the table to start this business, you've already figured out all these things and you have a timeline in your head. So I kusumbui that... For year one or year two or year three, I did not make a return. This applies even to big companies like Amazon. I was watching another documentary the other day that they took a long time because they had a strategy to become big. So they went for years making losses, but to attain their target. And right now they are making profits because they have dominated the market. So it is a strategy to different people. So does this loss that the company gets to face affect your money? Your invested money is not part of their revenue. If I could particularly talk about the money market funds in this case, the money is not even with the fund manager. What belongs to the fund manager is the management fee part only. The rest of the money is yours. It does not get into their balance sheet. And perhaps if you've watched some of my older videos, I keep talking about the structure whereby the money market funds work. All the other players have their own way that they operate. But the money market funds have a trustee who watches to see what is going on and reports to ensure that people are playing by the book. There's a fund manager who gives instructions and manages the client's funds. And then there's the custodian who's now responsible in keeping the money safe. All these are different players. So the money that belongs to the company out of the money that you've invested or deposited is the management fee. And these are 
applies especially to the insurance companies uh, and, 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 and the fund managers. And now this depends on where your money is being invested. For example, if it is in money market funds, the capital is preserved. And I already spoke about the risks in the video before this. So you can go and check out what risks that you're likely to face on the money market funds. But for someone that invested in things like shares or Forex, remember, they will still charge their management fee and become profitable but if the fund value goes to a loss then the person that lost is you not the company the company will still charge their management fee when you buy your shares and you lose they will still charge the management fee when you buy your equities and they lose the company will still deduct if it's three percent it will take three percent on your negative you'll still get to pay for that so if the revenue side of the company makes a profit then it's possible that you are making a loss in your funds but the company is making a profit but when the company is making losses it is not your money that made losses nah -uh. it is their business that made a loss your money is completely safe and protected and do remember that it is possible that you are making profit or interest while the company is making losses on its balance sheet and it is also possible that the company is making profits but your equities or your funds are making losses so what you should be concerned about is if your funds are making a profit or a loss but not the company's loss this should not be a question to bother you i hope you've been sufficiently answered in case of any questions leave it in the comment section below please like share and subscribe